Hey, Spike Drummer and Dumas Alliance. It's me, Spike Ghost with Lesnar. Coming to the video. In this video, I am turning the last four MHA characters I have into golems. I am turning Minya Mineta, Momonia Rozu, and um, who were the other two? Oh yeah, Jiro, and the final one being oh, what was their name? What was their name? Give me one. Uraka. It goes like this: Uraka, then Jiro. Then minute and lastly Momo as golems. Well, let's get into this video. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back looking at golems, and tomorrow I think I'm going to be looking at more um, elementals than after that dragon, then more elementals again. <sighs> Got a busy schedule ahead. <clears throat> well, anyways, today I'm looking at. <clears throat> Sorry. Throw's not clearing up. Give me one second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> First one we're looking at is is a golem known by known by the creature name Zero Gravity. I mean Hover Zero Gravity Crystal Golem or Zero G Olam. These golems are well very similar to the dragon, the drake, the hovering drake, and a, um, what else? And an elemental. But that elemental has not been classified yet for me to actually get the information from it. Um, they have the ability to, just like the hovering drake, to touch things and make them float. But for these goat creatures, instead of just little pads, they're actually they actually have three crystals on each hand, and they are um, actually magic too. They can whether they touch, they have the option to make it float or not. Because if they just touched everything and always floated, they would not be around anymore. And everything would be probably be up in space. Because of that fact, they can also touch one. They either can touch all three, well, all six together, or just two. Depends on how many they have or how they're feeling. Most of the time, they just do the t two of them. So that way, they can just do that and just get going. And, but in a fight. For like, there are medium size, around, um, gonna say, five, no, not six foot one, and they all, they are incredibly smart, but they don't have that much stamina, which is weird to say for a golem. Because of that, they <clears throat> always fall down a lot after using their power. They're mostly... Used for people that in construction businesses in order for them to touch the metal poles or something and it'll float up to the top. I was <clears throat> there when they were building my base. It was an impressive sight. They had around five of them and each one was working on a different building, floating parts up to the top and then going on to get the other piece. But in the wild, they're relatively good fighters. They are, when I say they're relatively good, I mean they're really good. They can punch through solid stone when, like there's no tomorrow. Let's get to the next one. Okay, this next one is an actual crystal golem. The, by that I mean like two part, two different pieces set, connected by some type of magical energy. This one is a vibrating sound crystal golem. It's relatively interesting and it's closely related to the Drake known as. Where is that file? Where is it? Where is it? Related to the um, sound wave wyvern. Sound blast wyvern. And the. Um, and an elemental, the. I believe I've already got another elemental, but then again, I'm probably not. But they are closer related to them. 
Um, they have the ability to plunge their... Oh, yeah, now I remember. The um, rock and roll Earth Elemental. <laughs> that was a cool golem. Like I already stated, they have the ability to plunge their hands into solid rock and make well sound waves come they can also make sound waves but they can also use that to find out where someone is but not as good as the elemental the elemental can do a whole lot more but what it makes up for in um strength it makes up for in versatility doesn't make what it doesn't have in the ability to see as much using that power what it makes up for in their strength and power. By that I mean they are actually stronger in sound blast attacks due to the fact that the crystals also let off energy pulses that boost the sound wave attacks. It's really interesting to see how they fight. I've been to a few underground shows to to have the people sent to prison, but I have seen a few where their creatures are relatively nice, and I've told the police officers that they aren't being mistreated, and they are perfectly fine. They're always being healed afterwards, and I just, those are never shut down. Matter of fact, they're actually told, hey, we know about y'all, and y'all can keep going, but make sure y'all don't injure the creatures. And whenever these are in the fight... They are really, really good. They start off by um, trying to see if there's anything on it by plunging their crystal into the ground or something. Or just laying off a magical pulse that will disable anything that is electronic within that ar arena. There's an anti-magic field surrounding it, but it's only the thing that will stop the actual pulse of magic. Everything else, though... Is working in there, but trust me, it ain't pretty to see. Because if these golems get pissed off enough, they will utterly destroy their opponent. By then, I mean like shatter them to pieces. <sighs> Let's get to the next golem. I just wanted to do this mid video interruption saying I finally got the name for the video for the Tech Warm video. Tech Warm Coal. Not really that original, but hey. Tech Warm Coal sounds like a sounds like a good sh um video name. So it's gonna stick. Now let's get back into this video. Let's go. This next one is actually the smallest golem I have ever ever seen. They are literally known as the most common name, Midget Golem. It's hilarious, but don't let that make up for the fact that they have, they are huge perverts, as golems go. By that, I mean they mostly peer into human rooms. I've literally had to shatter a few eyes, but not really shatter it, but more like crack it to make it go temporarily blind. Creature name, Sticky Ball Midget Golem. Like I already stated, common name, Midget Golem. They... The rocks on our head are similar to that of the, um, the, what was that name? Where is that file? Where is that file? To two golems, the, um, I believe the Sticky Rock Golem, um, here's the fire. Yeah, Sticky Rock Golem and the, um, Leaping Golem. But they are actually a relatively blacker color and are sticky they are used in spy scandals when trained properly but again huge pervert so it takes a while to break that fact they are pains in the butt to deal with and if you get an infestation of them and yes you can because they're so small they breed like rabbits it's a really easy thing to get rid of simply just Throw out some pictures. Don't want to talk about what kind of pictures. Just throw them out and lock your doors. And if it's really bad, spray your house with some anti-magic spray. And yes, that is a real thing. I know people are hearing this in another world, but hey, it is real. I've had to do that a few times. 
Shot one, shot one in the face. Just got up and walked off. <clears throat> but very small. I mean, like they are maybe around three feet tall to four feet tall. Really short by golem standards. Forgot to mention the uh, weight class of uh, the other one. It weighs in around um, both parts. Weigh around half a ton each, so a whole ton. And the um, Zero G Olam weighs around a ton and a half. Where this guy weighs around 500 pounds. Really light by Golem standards. But what it makes up for in its pervertedness is its, its strength and skill with its power. These creatures are always able to capture enemies relatively easily. So they are may. They're mostly there as little bodyguards to more or less just trap enemies nearby. But, not to mention, they are really small so they can sneak behind enemy lines is a lot easier. They might be big targets by goal, small targets by golem standards, but still, they're pretty... They're, they're an eyesore compared to a, back, to a desert background. Just throw one in and they won't see anything. Let's get to the last golem. Now, this next golem is sometimes mistaken for a statue of a god. It makes sense because they are related, closely related to a um, arsenal. They're closely related to the arsenal um, elemental and a um, dragon, the Kratai dragon, or better known as creation dragon. They have the ability to create just about anything, but they mostly are known and seen to create swords that they actually use themselves. They have crystals mostly on their arms and hands. Their actual hand fingers are, well, more or less claws, are made of crystals. Their crystal color is red. But they do have some markings on their body. Each one go, um... It goes from, for like, they have just crew, two crystals piercing from the back, top of their back, and two coming out the side of their back, boat lower area. And there's yellow stripes connecting all of them. And they also have two huge, like, um, arm blades. They're actually there just in case they have to make, like, a shield, like, that's somewhat near t attached to their arm to block attacks. But the lower part of them is still open for attacks. Fun fact about the golden pieces, they're actually relatively tough. I've punched one. I nearly, I just about broke my hand. It was fractured a little, but thanks to a few, few magic things I know, I healed within a few days. That, that was painful. They also have two crystals on their head that look like horns. And also their red, their eye is red. Very similar to um, other golems. They, whenever they use their the crystals for magic, they it gives off a um, gray cloud, and that's where the thing comes from. Now, <clears throat> in my in this world, they are relatively uncommon, but they have been known to be found in abundance in mountainous areas. I actually managed to um, get one. Again, same thing how I got the um, the hovering drake. It was a smuggling thing, so and I pretended to be a buyer. I ha it was more or less a sting operation. I was in there buying one. Literally, I was. With the permission of the police, they said they would not take it back, but they would need to be questioned a little. For the record, I am also a collector of rare creatures like these. The reason why I'm not known as the beast cataloger, hunter, and collector is because I mostly hunt and catalog. I mostly have these in order to keep my to keep my basement well maintained. And just in case I need a few more rounds, I can always rely on these guys. 
And uh, since I was raising it, it actually gave me a, um, I, it shed a crystal and I used it on my gauntlet. Now that was really interesting. That's all the golems I have for today. So, see so, ya. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed me turning all those MHG characters into golems. Now, until next time, subscribe to Adrian's Pocket Server or Demos Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.